are cutting across to this piece of breaking news where the hearing in the Air India urination case is currently underway. The victim's lawyer in this case has gone on to claim that the father of the accused, uh, Shankar Mishra, is sending them messages and then going on to delete the messages. Now, the lawyer claims that uh, the father writes, karma will hit you back and then goes on to delete it. The lawyers further claimed that uh, they also have come to the victim's house to intimidate her. Taking this across uh, to my colleague Ananya, who is joining us on the broadcast. Ananya, the fact that this talks about this uh, brazen, brazening uh, state of affairs that is currently being witnessed when it comes to this case that is going on, despite what uh, you know Shankar Mishra did, uh, his father has come to his defense and this is what is also coming to light with the lawyer claiming that he is also sending these intimidating messages also have, has reached the victim's house in this case. Well, definitely. This was the claim being made uh, before the court. And uh, Griya, first of all, before going to this aspect, mm. I would like to bring you uh, the latest on this. The orders have been reserved on this bail application okay. that has been by, filed by uh, Shankar Mishra and to the court. Now, coming back to the whole aspect of these intimidating messages, the complainant's lawyers have claimed that um, the father of the accused was actually sending messages to the complainant in this case. They also go on to say uh, this is how uh, a 72-year lady is actually being treated uh, is what the submission of the complainant's counsel were. However, responding to that uh, submission by the complainant's counsel, uh, Mr. Manu Sharma, who is appearing for Shankar Mishra, has clearly argued uh, and rebutted all of those arguments, opposed them, and said that the son-in-law wrote an email to Air India for a refund of a uh, full amount of that particular flight. In fact, he also, uh, he also went on to say that a son-in-law in his email, which is now in public domain, is clearly saying that if at all the full amount is not refunded, the whole incident would be sent back to the media. This is uh, the time of end of November. And on November, uh, on December 19th, when these talks failed, the money was uh, the money that, in fact, um, the complainant uh, was given by this particular accused person as a part of compensation was uh, returned on 19th because on the same day, the talks had failed. So a big twist coming in, uh, both these sides saying something or the other. It is for the police to verify. But at this point of time, the biggest breaking is that uh, the orders in this bail application and now uh, have now been reserved. We'll get to see as to when these orders would be passed, what uh, particular date would um, uh, it be, whether it would be passed today or not, is something that we will get to know in a, in a, in a while. However, these are big claims being made mm -hmm. and it's uh, a clear charge from the complainant, though, that the father of the accused is uh, trying to intimidate her. However, on the other end, the accused is alleging that this is all done because the talks with Air India failed and that's the reason why this particular complaint was actually filed and an FIR was registered into this case much later. But what yeah. about the entire incident in itself? Has, has that uh, uh, been a part of discussion considering there is, this is uh, you know, a clear case of somebody's word against the other because it's a case is in a court right now. However, when it comes to that bail plea, uh, the reason for granting of bail, this kind of a discourse was de definitely to go ahead and blunt the argument from the victim's side. Why bring up this entire uh, case about money being returned at all? Well, you know, uh, these, uh, this was actually brought up after uh, the complainant uh, actually uh, tried to say that uh, the father of the victim, um, uh, the father of the accused, I'm sorry, mm. is trying to uh, intimidate this particular victim in this case and mm. was contacting her and sending her messages. Uh, uh, and responding to these arguments, uh, uh, the, in fact, Mr. Sharma made these arguments on behalf of the accused, saying that uh, the complainant had actually uh, filed a complaint, uh, filed a FIR only after the talks with Air India had failed and the son-in-law had threatened Air India that in case the full amount is not refunded, that this whole issue would be, report, would be reported into the media and an FIR would also be lodged. In fact, they also, um, uh, uh, in fact, um, the counsel for uh, all of these victims, all uh, of the victims, the 72-year-old year, mm. year, uh, year old lady has also said that, in fact, uh, there is, uh, uh, in fact, a delay uh, by the Air India staff because it was uh, influenced by this particular accused person is what the charge of, um, uh, uh, in fact, the victim in this particular case is. However, mm. now it is a matter of time and we'll get to know uh, as to what would the court be passing and whether or not um, Ishankar Mishra could be securing a bail in this particular case or not. Ananya, could you yeah. take our viewers through the observations that were made while these arguments were being presented in the court and also were questions raised on the delay by Air India staff in the reporting of this case? 
well as far uh, as the arguments for today are concerned no kind of uh, observation was made with regards to the delay mm. in in this particular fir being made but we might find it in the order copy okay. uh, when when the order comes out and uh, when when the order is pronounced by the court in this particular case so we'll have to wait and watch uh, for some time when the orders are passed in this particular case and the biggest question would be answer whether or not shankar mishra could secure bail in this case so big breaking news that we have for our viewers the bail plea that was before the court by shankar mishra's counsel the order in that case has been reserved by the court so that's one thing and the other thing that is being transpired that uh, transpired while the hearing was underway in this air india urination case is the victim's lawyer claiming that the father of the accused that is shankar mishra has been sending threatening messages to the victim and also going on to delete it so that there is no record of those messages he has gone on to write things like karma will hit you back and then he goes on to delete it the lawyer also claimed the lawyer of the victim also claimed that uh, they have even come to the house of the victim in trying to intimidate the victim as a counter to all of this the the lawyer accused lawyer has mentioned that uh, they demanded the victim in fact had demanded compensation for air india and uh, when that really did not turn out to their advantage they in fact got the case up before the media